There's a million reasons why you should love Percy, but love his abusive background because that's why he so aggressively aligns himself with other demigods and never once in his entire fucking existence will he ever consider not doing that or like aligning himself with somebody else. How afraid of you do you think they'll be when your dad shows up looking to put you back in your place? Those thoughts would never even enter his mind because when you are abused by an authority figure, you hate all authority figures, and you also know that they're never gonna give you what you actually want. And so, like, that's kind of the, the great thing about this general book series is that Percy is the one that aligns himself with the actual demigods, like the actual kids over like the powerful figures, even though the world is constantly trying to get him to talk to the powerful gods instead and it's why he succeeds like everybody fucking worships him like in the story like it takes you know first five books for it to happen um but like when he disappears in the first heroes of olympus book camp half-blood is having like a mental breakdown like yeah. people are terrified because he's gone and they don't know what to do and like the to the point that the new kids don't like him <laughs> because of how much everybody loves him and they talk about him and literally like, imagine you get to camp and everywhere you go people are like disappointed to see you because you're not percy jackson you're like who the fuck is percy jackson like and it's like that in their first book everywhere they go nobody cares that much about them and they they like like Clarice openly questions whether it was worth it for them to save these other kids because they could have been spending that time trying to go after Percy instead. And Annabeth is like, every demigod matters, but like the entire camp is like, this was a waste of time because that wasn't actually Percy. And so it's like, people like worship him in that world so much because he doesn't align himself with the gods. It's, it's great to see a book series like this where that like actually pays off because it's not usually in real life. I don't have nightmares anymore. I don't have insomnia anymore. I don't have like any sort of crippling anxiety to the point that it's like negatively affecting my life. Like I still have some of those things that come up, but it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be um, at all. It's like very, very different than how it, than how it used to be. And so usually it's like that sort of a thing of like, yeah, okay, I don't fit into society because of what I experience. So living every day is like difficult and I get triggered sometimes, a lot of times because of the things I experienced, but at least I'm like actually know what it's like to be happy. And a lot of the baggage that I carried around for many years is now like way lessened or just gone when I know that they haven't, but in this, in this, book series you get to see him like literally like succeed <laughs> and be offered to become a god <laughs> yeah. because it because he like sticks with his own people instead of you know aligning himself with the gods including telling them no when he when they offer him that <laughs>